Well, hello, Celebration family. Once again, we gather together around God's Word. Well, I pray that you are experiencing the practicalities of the Word of God in the peace of God that passes all understanding. It even surpasses our understanding. As we reflect on God's Word, we can see that in Psalm 46, God gives us a sense of direction so that we would be able to know that He is with us and has not forsaken us. All we need to do is draw nigh to Him and know and experience uh, all of the provisions that He is making for us. And so, verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And I pray that if you are sensing a troubled heart today, that you would know that God is your refuge, that all you need to do is press into Him. If you call upon Him, if you seek Him, if you look to Him, you will see that He is faithful and His Word is reliable. I pray that the Word of God is your go-to source of strength and wisdom and that you are able to know the peace of God as never before. I pray that you are able to see that God is with you and He is not forsaking you. In verse 2 it says, Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change. And saints of God, things are changing all around the earth. Things are happening all around the earth. And God, He is with us. He has not forsaken us. And you can know the very peace of God as never before. And so, as verse 3 says, Though its waters roar and foam, Though the mountains quake at its swelling pride, Oh, saints of God, God is still our refuge. Psalm 46 really does say it right. God is our refuge. He is the refuge of His people. And we must learn how to gain strength from abiding in Him, from pressing into His presence, from being in the midst of Him and His Word. I pray that the Word of God is your source today. I pray that the Word of God is the very thing that transforms your heart and your mind and your life. Know Him as never before. Know Him, that He is able to do abundantly more than you could ask or imagine. Well, I pray that God is being honored in all of your thoughts, in all of your ways, and in all of the things that you reflect upon in your heart, and that you would know His peace like never before. Well, God bless you, and I pray that God would be with you and enable you in all that you do to endure and to know that He is doing a mighty and good work because you have a righteous mind.